At the University of Georgia School of Law, we aim to redefine what it means to be a great national public institution. What does that mean for a student who might consider studying here? What it means is that whether your dream is to be the next Attorney General of the United States, a managing partner at a major firm, a leader in your local community, a partner at a major law firm, to own your own law firm, our hope is to be the best return on investment in legal education, with the return being measured by the job for which we train you and the investment being measured by the cost that you and your families are incurring. Right now, throughout this institution, nearly 50% of our student body is getting their legal education debt-free. At a time when many families around the kitchen table are worried about the ever-spiraling arc of higher education costs, we aim not just to bend, but to break that arc. But to believe that that's our vision, don't just hear from me, but I hope that you'll enjoy hearing from three of our students who are living that every day. My name is Jonah Chavez Griego. My name is Brianna Hayes. My name is Ellie Williams. And I'm a third year law student graduating this May 2023. I am a second year student here at the University of Georgia School of Law. And I'm a third year student at the University of Georgia School of Law. I became really interested in a career in public service, but specifically in serving survivors of domestic and sexual violence. In particular, I'm going to work with community organizations on the ground just do basic things like uh, divorce, child custody, social security disability, veterans affairs stuff. And one day go back to South Georgia and provide representation to all people, but especially to black families and in black communities. UGA offers a lot of wonderful resources and knowing that I wanted to go into public interest, the school also attracted me. So for instance, right now I'm in public interest practicum where I'm getting hands-on experience uh, working with clients and providing legal advice uh, for those who are of lower income and have a harder time finding representation. Seeing the money and the resources here when I first got here, it's a little overwhelming, but when you realize it's here to help you, it's really empowering and a nice feeling to be that supportive. I think has a supportive collegial community in a way that's unique um, relative to other law schools. Um, whether that's faculty relationships, the way the administration is really interested in developing personal relationships with students and very genuine in their interest in hearing what students have to say. Even more important would be the case of Kelsey Rayner, which was another a young black man who lost his life, I would say due to racism and just a uh, lack of ethics in the legal sphere in my community. And seeing those two cases in the year of 2020 really encouraged me and inspired me to go to law school. I want to do a state Supreme Court clerkship in New Mexico because if I utilize the legal education that I got here with the connection I'm fortunate to make and be able to plug that into the New Mexico legal network then I'll be able to open up my community legal aid in Pinasco, New Mexico to try to give people basic legal services. I wouldn't say I'm, gonna, like I'm trying to fix the world, but just trying to give people like basic amenities that we take for granted on the East Coast, like a lawyer to do your tax, to help with your taxes, a lawyer to help you with social security disability, what if someone hits you with the car, just basic things. Um, and I think really what makes you feel the strongest, what makes you angry, I think, sometimes is a good indicator of what you're passionate about um, and feels like almost a call to action. And so I think what I was, things that I was seeing, problems I was noticing, gaps in services, led me to want to develop the skill set and agency that I needed to make effective change. And the JD seemed like the way to do that. And everywhere you get the same legal education, but what really separates law schools, in particular UGA law, is the people that are around you orientation, the people that you take the classes with. After graduation, the relationships you develop and then maintain. You're gonna be in school with senators, Congress people, maybe a president, maybe a cabinet member, maybe folks end up being one of those big lawyers and commercials one day. It, it's really about the people around you. To say, um, but really I've made like lifelong best friends in law school and having your classmates be friends and be supportive of you and genuinely interested in your success and want to see you succeed rather than seeing you as competition or someone that they're being graded against on the curve. I think it's really important to your ability to succeed in law school, but also making it three years that you really enjoy um, and building relationships that will carry you professionally in the future, but also, again, friendships that um, just you know are important in, in your adult life moving forward. I think that is 
very much a standout for the UGA School of Law is that you feel very connected um, to the people here and it makes all the difference.